I just sat down and watched Mud Fossil University Roger Spur again and uh, yeah I got confused and pissed off and sick of fucking hearing him again and talk about this dragon in every single video now that he makes. He makes about four or five videos a week speaking on this fucking dragon, right? Well, I just want to show you this, you can make it your own mind, because I have. Uh, so when I show you this, obviously there's a lot of sand in uh, North Africa. So he points out this dragon here and uh, the fish the dragon is a thousand miles long right uh, but if you look the lines have drawn and you can see how they both join up right and we both know we've seen how nasa has drawn sex wasn't it in the clouds of one of their fake balls which is what you're looking at now by the way and uh, yeah i just want you to look at that you can make up your own mind because this is another painting fake ball image of what North Africa looks like. I know this isn't the best narration that I've ever done, but it is uh, this other channel of mine, and that's what it's for, but he always refers back and gets those images that he shows all the time from this cartoon image here, and I'm going to show you just how much of a cartoon this is, because he's gone against Flat Earth completely, hasn't he? And yet, about a week ago, he came out saying that the Earth used to be flat and spun into a ball. The spinning into a ball is backward, never mind everything else. The only reason why you would do something like that is to try and get flat earthers on side and confuse them, right? The guy is a complete shill, and that proves it. But uh, this ball here, apart from Africa taking up the entire side of one half, and for those people that say that, well, it's because it's closer, yeah? So you're not seeing the full half. Well, it's not that close. Look, when you look at a ball from one side, you see half the ball, right? Correct. Now, this next image here, I have moved uh, the ball completely across, and you can see the landmass on the end where I put the arrow. Then I move it completely around again, right? So basically, I've turned this ball around 360 degrees, yeah? Uh, and yet, we've not even seen America. How is that possible, right? Anybody that's got any idea, any perception, any common sense will know that this image is fucking ridiculous. I've presented this evidence before, but this is in your face for anybody that's got eyes to see. So, it was about a month ago when Roger was saying that he was being censored by YouTube for the truth that he keeps saying that he's been putting out. It wouldn't be for the fact that he's just talking a lot of bollocks. Uh, but he placed in that at the same time, himself being censored in Flat Earth, right? Uh, and then goes on to say that Flat Earth is a lot of crap, right? Uh, just doesn't make any sense, but for those that didn't know, I know there's a lot of censorship on YouTube now, but it did actually start with Flat Earth and 9-11. That is where it started, right? So if Flat Earth were crap, Let's just say I start saying that we lived in a boat. Do you think that the sense of that? No, they wouldn't, would they? Uh, anyway, Roger must know what he's talking about because he's got a scrapbook here with about 15 pages in and some scribbles. So he's obviously qualified. Uh, he shows images, something to do with particles and that. It just looks like it's been put through some sort of filter. It looks fake as fuck to me.
So, if you want to believe that these uh, hair and hair follicles are some giant uh, and all that's left is just the hair on the surface, that's up to you, but these are clearly a petrified forest. Now, not all wood ends up like the petrified images that you find on Google, right? You know, the coloured pieces of wood, right? Now, you can see from this image that this was once a wooden structure, right? All the mud that was packed between the wooden lats is been washed away and the wood has calcified from the lime or the volcanic events and the flood that I speak of on this channel. Now this is to Niven and anybody else that has just recently got into this topic uh, and think they're suddenly an expert in everything that I do here that I've been doing for over a decade. Uh, they seem to forget or they don't know that all these sites have all been repurposed, rebuilt by archaeologists right all this stuff was buried in meters of mud and it's re been rebuilt by archaeologists you morons to just go and pull out one image and make a video that would take me about five minutes do you think that's enough to make a convincing argument And for those few people that keep coming to my channels saying have you seen the channel when the buildings cried subophonic guy uh, no I won't be visiting that channel again because he'll do anything to explain what we see here as long as it's nothing to do with the, with the flood he's talking about an event that would have killed every single living creature on earth do you understand and by the way bricks don't melt uh, he's talking about all coal is from concrete due to the X factor something to do with the Sun the moon used to be a Sun well I can't prove that can you no and uh, this I saw a video uh, and it was called something uh, clinching evidence I forgot what it, it, it was called and in the center of it was this image here which he used to brainwashed those few that's on his channel well it's petrified wood
Amen.